Okay, so we have a few minutes left to the end of the show, or to spare. So I thought I'd give you a quick rundown on how the whole zone system actually works. So I've got my image opened in Photoshop. Here is the zone panel. So what I want to do first, again, as we've discussed, I'm just going to add the five zones. It will do that fairly quickly for me. And then for me, I always add the contrast checker right away. And then it's gone to black and white. So now I can, I can zip it in and out of black and white and check my contrast fairly easy. So from here, as we've stated before, if I hold my Alt button down and I click on the masks, white is what I'm actually changing. So we've got the zones already set for us. So now if I go over to the curve layer, I can make my uh, adjustments. So I'm just going to give a little bit of an S curve. So I got an S curve going here, but don't forget, you can also move these in and out. Some will have some little bit of difference, some will not. So again, a lot of times I'll go up and down and see what I kind of like. You can see this is getting a little bit darker. Get that little bit of an S curve. Again, just so I know what I'm adjusting. I just kind of like giving it a little bit downward slide. I gotta be careful here. I don't want to go nuts. And I don't know if you're aware, but anytime I do something silly and I don't like what I've done, I can click on the block here, little tag, and I can drag it off. So I'm gonna give this one a, a little bit of an S curve. Oh, I kind of like that. Again, I can move these in if I want, but I don't see any reason to at this time. Get a little bit of an S curve. Yeah, I kind of like that one. And there's not much going to be changed on this one. As you can see, there's very little on that one that I'm going to change. So again, I can get my contrast checker out, turn off my tone adjust, and you can see just within the black and white that I've adjusted down here and I've adjusted the sky. Turn that off, hold my Alt button down and click on the background. I'm hoping you can see some of that. You can see how much I've toned. Now back in there, now I go to the color format. Now most of the stuff is green and a little bit of orange and sky. So uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a dodge and a burn. Now it has already selected my dodge and burn tool for me. So honestly, um, I'm going to make some changes. I want my hardness right down to basically nothing. My exposure is at 10%. I brought it down. Usually it's at 20. And oh, so I'm going to bring up my clouds just a little bit. Just give my clouds a little bit more of an amp. Too much. Now, if I don't like that, I can just drag that whole thing, get rid of it, go back, dodge and burn tool again. I didn't like it. I'm going to go down to 10%. I'm hitting my one on my keyboard. Just going to bring it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just. Okay, so now I'm going to work on this grass a little bit. I'm kind of like, I'm holding the Alt button down just to burn. Just to burn some of these spots a little bit. I'm at 
midtones. And then I'm just gonna just to contrast. All I really want to do is add some contrast into this grass and that kind of white spot that's back there. So not much, just a little bit. So as we turn it on and off, I'm hoping you can see what we've done there. If I got these on, I can once again go back to my contrast checker. But if I click, hold the Alt button, turn these two levels layers off, turn that on. Turn my contrast checker on. Turn my dodge and burn. You can see what I've done on my dodge and burn. I often check. Really, I do. I go back and forth. I often check to see what's going on. Now, with all this going on, I want to add a little bit of color into certain areas. So I want to pump up my yellows and the trees and the greens here. So I'm just going to try this. Runs a green and yellow. Runs a green and yellow analog color mask. Now, here it is down here. So I can grab it. And I can see what I'm affecting very easily. Again, I can drop that, snap it in there, give it a bit of an S curve. Go in and out. Don't forget, I can go into here at any time and I can kind of pull up my greens uh, just a little bit. Pull up my greens just a bit. Now, if I want to make my yellows a little more, I wouldn't use green. Go into blue. The opposite of blue in Photoshop is yellow. So I can turn this layer on and off. And you can see how much more pump down here and amongst a little bit of the trees. But watch, watch down right in here in the meadow itself. See how the meadow has come to life? Now, I'm not really happy with what's happening here in the actual green area. So I can actually go to my brush tool. I'm at 50%. I'm painting with white. I want to paint with black. And you can see now I just bring it down a bit. So I am modifying this mask. And I kind of like that a little more. So I also want to work on my sky a little bit. So then again, I'm going to go work on my blues. It's already selected for me. If I click on my blues, I click on my mask, and you see I'm going to be adjusting the whites. And that's basically the blue area. So I can make them a little bit darker. Now I'm giving a little bit more contrast between the sky and the clouds. If I want, I can actually go into the blues. It's got that more. Kind of gives me that little polarizing little look. Uh, let's drag that off. So I actually, there we go. I'm actually quite happy with that. So again, hold the Alt button down. There's my original. There's my adjusted. There's my original. There's my adjusted. We've definitely add some tone and contrast into it again. Now, something we didn't go over is effects. So we have all sorts of effects that we can pick on as well. Uh, for me, this is kind of an intermediate fall color. So if I go to the contrast checker and I add a solid color. Now he's, we've got it set to normal. I'm going to set it down to color. Okay. 
so it's giving me a little bit of color. But I just want to invert that, and I don't want it everywhere. So I want to paint with white on the mask, and I just want to give it a little bit in the orange area where I've got this orange grass in here. Just want to give that a bit of a pump. That's all. So again, gives me a bit of a little more tone into it. And there you have it. Basically, everything that we can do with the zone system, and I've done this in probably about less than five minutes. I could have timed it. There is the original. There is the finished. There is the original. There's the finished. And you can see how easy it was, how quickly it was to actually use the zone system and to edit my image and get it over and done with. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button uh, for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our, our YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time on uh, Who Said Photography.